What up YouTube, it's your boy Matt Give the Hands once again back to y'all with another video and in this tutorial we're going to be doing a ball fade on the sides with the curly top, curly sponge look on top and right now on my first initial guideline I'm using the Oster wood grain fast feeds and I'm creating my first guideline with the lever closed which is a zero and you can tell I'm leaving the front a little darker um, so I can um, do the pointed sideburns so from the zero you're gonna open your lever to the middle and then you're gonna open it all the way up which is a half right here the lever is fully open and I'm gonna take that half all the way to the sideburn right there that's just enough so it can have the side so the sideburn can pop and you can see it with the razor whenever you line it up <clears throat> we're gonna leave the top as well we're not gonna mess with it we're just gonna curl it up at the end and uh, it's gonna be a nice nice tight fade I'm not gonna use a shaver on this this client right here um, we tried it the haircut before this and he ended up bumping out so we know not to do that anymore. Try on error, try on error. But he wanted to try it, the client did want it. And he um, he said he got it before and he didn't bump out. But this time around he did. Maybe he got a little closer, I don't know. So right here I'm using the number one guard, the lever close, and then I'm just opening it up. And I'm doing a little something different along this, uh, with this tutorial. Usually I'm like an open, middle, close kind of guy or a close, middle, open, um, which this is right here. It's a close, middle, open. And I'm, I'm just gradually opening the lever, which is equivalent to a one and a half now that I have the one guard on there. The highest guard that I'm going to use in this in this tutorial is the number two guard, and it's going to blend right into the top. You could freehand it or a clipper over comb if it becomes difficult, um, if you can't get out some type of bulk. Um, but with me, I'm just going to use the number two guard. I still have the number one guard on it right now. Uh, so right here, I have the two, and I open it up. And you can see that bulk is starting to disappear. <clears throat> make sure to not make sure to not cut too much. Um, you don't want to go into the the top. You don't want to take away from the hair on the top either. Just want to blend that in. You don't want to dig in. It just kind of goes straight up. And then right here, I just turned the the clipper around, and I started going with the grain to remove that bulk. All right, so right here I have the 1 16th guard or your zero guard. I'm using a double magnetic guards. Um, just if you're wondering, I'm sorry. To, I didn't put, I didn't say that in the beginning of the video, but these are double magnetic purple guards. And I started with the lever open just because I know that 1 16th or half guard is going to blend right into that number one line. So I started with the lever open and then I just slowly started closing it. And you're gonna see that it, that it left behind like a shadow and I just with no guard with the lever open I used the corners and it blended out and I'll show you in this video what I'm talking about so right now I'm working that that lever and I close it so right there it shows you there's a bit of a shadow so with no guard lever open which is a half I'm using my corners right there and I'm not flicking. I'm 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 going through with it. <laughs> I'm I have the blade on the client's head. I'm not flicking and that line is coming out. And you can see right there the blend blend came in nicely and then I just went back and detailed some work with the with the half guard. 
<clears throat> always detail. Always go back and detail your work. I think I said this um, analogy in my first video. It's kind of almost like when you're washing your car, right? And you took about maybe an hour, hour and 45 minutes, the rims, the, the detail, everything. And as you're putting the stuff away or as you're doing your final touches to your car, you see a spot. You see a spot that, that you missed or it just didn't clean right. <clears throat> do you go back and clean that spot or do you leave it? Like, that's what I want to use analogy for, for uh, barbering. If I see a, a certain line or, or a demarcation or a dark spot, something that I know that I can fix or even I could just try to fix, I'm gonna go back to that and detail my work. I wanted to, I'm want, this is 100%, I'm putting all this, my blood, sweat and tears and passion into this barbering game. So I, I, I like detailing work. And clients notice that, they notice the, whenever you turn the client's head to a certain angle, so you can see in different lightings and all that. They notice all of that. Right there I just showed you, I pointed to the corner of the blade just to um, show you that use the corners. I mean, if you get this down, there's no stopping you. That Those blends are gonna come out nice. If you get your corner game top notch, these blends will be dope. And it took a while. It took a while for me to get that down. I actually, I learned a lot from Shannon. Y'all, I've uh, featured him on my channel, Shannon Craft, and just working next to him, he he uses a lot of the corner of the blades and always like fading and and doing different techniques and just working alongside him is. I learned a lot. So what you do to one side, you do to the other. So guys, I want to do something new. I want to start our YouTube family. You know, I want to get, I want to build a relationship with y'all. So with that being said, whenever we, whenever y'all comment on my videos or, or anything like that, or tag me in pictures, make sure to hashtag team gifted, all right? Hashtag team gifted. Y'all are my family. Y'all are my gifted family. Family. Y'all are my squad. I mean, y'all motivate me. Y'all give me criticism, good criticism, bad criticism, and y'all support me 100%. So let's get this family going. And every time y'all comment, make sure to hashtag team gifted. All right. Y'all my squad, y'all my squad. We hold each other down. <clears throat> I'm learning off of y'all. <laughs> y'all give me ideas and um, different types of way that I can maybe do a, her a haircut or angle the camera or whatever. Better lighting, like, y'all help me out. So I appreciate that, I really do. Road to 10,000 subscribers, let's go. And this particular client right here, I've been cutting his hair for about four years now. And still to this day, his, man, his hair is difficult. It's thick, it's curly, it's coarse. So I spend a lot of time detailing work on this certain client and um, I've learned his hair pattern, <clears throat> but still, I mean, I'm still learning. I'm all. I always have an open mind to to criticism, or if you just have some nuggets to share with me, if you have any certain ideas or certain techniques that I can improve on, let me know. Like I, I have an open mind to all of that. You have to have a 
a mind like that in this industry because there's so many different haircuts that are coming out designs modern haircuts modern fades um new hairstyles every day so you never stop learning <clears throat> the reason why i'm cutting from right to left right here is because his hair grows to the right if that makes sense like i'm cutting against the grain right now going from right to left there no guard lever open and if you, if that shadow isn't going away then slowly close your lever don't close it all the way to close or all the way to the middle just just one little notch almost like you're using the masters if you ever use masters there's like at least six notches on the sides those help out a lot but just tap that lever if it's not cutting tap it again and you'll see that line gonna, is gonna come out. Trust me, if you use the corners of your blades and you work that lever, that fade is gonna be flawless. I'm telling you, I would not stir y'all wrong. So right here in the back of the occipital area, right above it, it can be a harder, harder area to blend. So I save that for last. And I'm, you can see that blend's coming together. It's coming together to the other side as well. <clears throat> I get a lot of questions like, hey, Matt, how do you know that the blend on each side is, is uh, like it matches? And I've been doing a 50-50 fade, meaning I've been doing one side and then working the other side for, for a while now. Ever since I was in barber school, I don't know, I just, it, that worked for me. You don't have to necessarily do it this way, but it just works for me. It's my technique. <clears throat> and the bottom guys, it's irrelevant right now because it's going to be knocked out with the 5-0 blade. Or your outliner blade so you can start blending and then go back to the bottom and knock that out this is just some detail work right here just flicking that lever all right so I applied a 245 shape gel and I'm gonna pass my uh, razor on the hairline and on the sideburn area and this is gonna make that edge pop I thought my camera was rolling whenever I was edging him up with the trimmers, uh, but it wasn't. I apologize. So it skipped right into the razor. But you can see I kept that sideburn dark. That way you can see the point of sideburns. And right here I turned this way because his hair was growing towards his his uh towards his hair so i had to go the other way all right here this is all against the grain All right, so right here, I'm knocking off the, the bottom hair with my Andis MVPs. I have the 5-0 blade on it. And I'm just gonna blend that corner piece out right there to keep it dark, but not too dark, so it blends right into the fade. You can see right there in the bottom of his neck, he kind of bumped up a little bit, so we're no longer gonna use that shaver on him. 
trial and error guys trial and error plus the client wanted it so we did it but now we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna do it no more all right right here i spray some sheen i'm gonna do the curl sponge on top this is a finished product the finished look ball fade with a curl curly top tell me what y'all think make sure you like subscribe comment and share this is all my social media make sure to reach out to me add me tag me in your pictures y'all stay gifted <laughs>